Hello there guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. Uh, in this Python tutorial we're going to be talking about um, uh, comparisons between <coughs> say a string and a list, um, lists and lists, and um, that's about it. Uh, so let's get underway. So beginning with um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and write out two lists. So we're going to have um, list1 and list2. And to compare these two lists, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go um, we're going to add a bunch of elements to them. Uh, so we're going to add something um, test this is list and one. Now in the second um, second list, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to add um, items similar to that. So we're going to have something in both the lists. Uh, actually, we might put them in a different position. We're going to have a test in both both the lists. We're going to have a something in both the lists. We're going to have a this in both the lists, and we're going to have this. Actually, get rid of that. This is list. So, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to pull out all the items that are in both these lists. <clears throat> so, theoretically, we should get, say, test something, this is list, and we shouldn't get the one or the two. Uh, we might go add some more values after this, just because um, I feel like we probably should add a few values that aren't going to be in both of them. Uh, so we're going to have dog, cat, bird, and maths, English, and science. Um, so obviously none of these should get output uh, when comparing the lists. So to go ahead and write our script to do this, we're going to go for i in list 1. And there's multiple ways you can do this. Um, you can run it over another list, so another list. So for x in list two, if um, i is equal to x, then print i. And if we go to our, our code, uh, our command line, and run this you'll see we'll get the numbers something test this is list uh, which is the words that we had that were in both the lists um, but you can also simplify this by um, removing both these lines here and instead of doing a for in range with another another for loop for i in x print x Sorry, for i in list 2, sorry. Um, print i. If we go ahead and run this in the command line again, you'll see we still get the same output. <laughs> this way here removes one line uh, from, the, from the code and makes it a little bit more simplistic uh, in the sense of um, comparing two lists together uh, because obviously it removes that second for loop and the need for a if statement within that second for loop um, and therefore you, you, you have shorter code um, but yeah that's pretty much the comparison of lists are complete what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to go have an, an empty um, actually no, no we're going to do it a different way because this is, this is still going to tie into that uh, a little bit so we're going to have a while loop here Um, then we're going to have a user input. Now, I'm just going to chuck those in there so we know where we're typing. Um, 
but with that user input what we're going to oh, what we're going to do is we're going to make the user input dot split which is going to split every item you put in there on the spaces um, and so when we do this we can go if user oh sorry we need to iterate over those don't we so for i in user in if i if not i in uh, in list one oops then we're going to add it to list one so list one dot append and we're going to append to that i uh, the current item that we're looking at in um, in the user input now after we've finished this we're going to print um, the new list and see what it does so what it should do is if I type anything from this list here that's already in there it will not add it because it's going to keep unique words um, if I type anything that's not currently in there it's going to add it uh, so we can go ahead and test this now Alright, so going ahead and running this code, we now have um, our lines. Now we know that the list said something test this is list one dog cat bird. So the cat sat on the mat should add the cat won't be added, sat will be added, on will be added, the will be added, mat will be added. So let's go ahead and test this. Cat will be the only thing that won't be added again. <coughs> um, now turn on okay you can't really see the end of it but something test this is list one dog cat bird the sat on mat um, I might go and empty this list just so you can see that in action right, so let's rerun this with an empty list the cat sat on the mat cat on some ones mat. So what should happen here is cat won't be added, on won't be added, mat won't be added, some ones will be added to the end of this list. And you can see there the cat sat on mat. Uh, and because there was also uh, two thus in the first sentence, the was only added once because it was in the list the second time it iterated over it. Um, so that is how you would go about adding unique words to a list um, using uh, list comparisons uh, and splitting into um, <coughs> values. Uh, now when you're splitting, if the user is, um, sorry about that, the split function here um, goes ahead and creates a list that would be your user input. So say I input cat in the mat, sorry the cat sat on the mat, it'll create a list that goes the cat sat on the Met. and then it will compare this to list one um, so you can kind of understand how um, this compares to that first uh, one where we had the, 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 the list of items that would after the first iteration be like this <coughs> um, and so then the second sentence that we input was uh, one sec. Which would be then then be this, which would be compared to this list that has been created. And that is um, how how it's how it's similar to the first uh, con comparison that we did with lists comparing to lists. Um, so that pretty much covers um, comparisons of lists and strings and lists. Um, if you enjoyed this video obviously like and subscribe um, 
and otherwise I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Alright, hello there guys. Um, you've obviously made it to the end of the video, uh, so you've obviously enjoyed it or had to watch the whole thing at least. So if you could consider subscribing, that would be a great help to my channel. Um, if you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure to drop them in the comments below. Um, like the video to show your support uh, to me so that I can know whether you like the content that I'm making. Um, and yeah, hope to see you.